Today I'll show you a good method of replacing the thermal paste on your CPU. First start by unscrewing your CPU heatsink. In this case this is a water cooling block, but a regular CPU heatsink with a fan is the same process. Unscrew it, and when you want to remove it, make sure you twist it. Make sure that you don't just yank it, because if you pull too hard it might create a suction that will actually rip out your CPU when you pull out your heatsink. So wiggle it until the suction disappears and it breaks free. Now to clean up the excess thermal paste that you already have on there, I recommend you use 99% pure rubbing alcohol. You'll see it dries really fast and it makes for a great cleaning product. So just use some kind of cotton dip or a q-tip. Just dip it in there and start gently wiping in circle fashion. It doesn't really matter if a little thermo thermal paste stays on the sides because, I mean, we're just going to reapply some. What we want is just to make sure that the old stuff on the flat surface is completely gone. And as you can see, the rubbing alcohol works really well. And once everything's nice and clean, just take the still dry side and then just wipe off the excess. As you can see, the alcohol dries really fast. Now for the block, I just used a dry Q-tip. I just take off whatever excess there is and then I put some rubbing alcohol in there and just scrub away. You want to try to get the perfect clean flat surface. Now to reapply it, I use Arctic Cooling MX4 or 2, whichever one is on sale. Uh, I find it's a nice thermal paste. As you can see when I pulled it off, that's what I was using before and it was still wet. So you don't want it to dry because it loses its property of uh, effectively transferring the heat. Now, why do we apply thermal paste? Well, technically, it's not exactly flat surface, so it's a little concave. So you want to put some thermal paste on there to make sure the whole chip gets to transfer all of the heat. Now, you just want to put a grain, the size of a grain of rice. And as you can see, that's pretty much borderline as much as you want to put on there. Now, some people like to spread it. You can use the credit card method to spread it. Some people like to stick their finger in a Ziploc bag and just spread it even everywhere. I've tried both techniques and I haven't seen much of a difference in the cooling performance. Pretty much what I just do is just put a little dab in the middle and just put the heatsink right on, squish it a bit to make sure it spreads everywhere and simply screw everything back on. When you screw your CPU heatsink back on, make sure you do it the same way as you would um, screw on your tires on your car. So do it in the star fashion, so always tight opposites to make sure that it remains as flat as possible. Don't do it in a clockwise position. Everything's on, it's nice and tight, and we are good to go. So I hope this was uh, useful for you guys. If you have any questions, comments, uh, make sure to send them, click the subscribe and like button to help us out, and thanks for watching.